Hi everybody, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today I'm going to do a look I found on Crip TV um, with one of their creepy pasta collaborations or whatever it's called. And um, it's a character called Mira Mira. And I think there's a live action short kind of inspired or that inspires this character. Um, and she's just uh, kind of a plain girl that shows up in the mirror and her face is like, it looks like it's cut up, but then later in the story, her face just kind of opens up and like eats things, uh, like things like mean people. Um, but uh, I did this the other night on a live, but now I wanna just do it on a regular video so I can, you know, so people who don't wanna sit through the long live replay can still see how it's done. And it's really super easy. I'm gonna use liquid latex, but you can use um, uh, the colloidian stuff or gelatin or um, what's the other stuff, Eric? The putty, which I hate. Latex. Well, I'm using the latex, but it smells like cat pee, but I'm starting to get used to the smell. So anyway, we're going to start up here and I'm going to do it a little different because I realized after I did it on the live that when you get down here, she has a little like a few, few. So we're going to do that. And I'm just using a popsicle stick. I knew I would already, I already forgot to do that part. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do several la layers of the latex. So it'll be a little thick so it can look like, kind of like skin, like an open wound. Now I can take really, really skinny pieces of cotton ball and put them on both sides to make it look like there's more of an opening, but her cuts are still really fine until she opens up her, her head. Some people might look at her as a version of Bloody Mary. The version of Blood, Bloody Mary I was raised on is that uh, Bloody Mary was a bride. But that changes, I think. Um, what was Bloody Mary in your region, Eric? Um, I don't know. I think that's just some kind of Laura that just continually changes and becomes a whole different monster. But did y'all hear of Bloody Mary growing up? Of course no. you did, right? You didn't. You did, <laughs> didn't you? You didn't? I, I don't know. I didn't. No. When, when do you think you heard of her after you met me? Yeah. <laughs> that song. Black Diamond Strings? Yeah. Oh. I like that song. I like that song. Jack Clark. Okay. So, while this is drying, I think I got enough layers on it. I'm just going to let it dry, you know, finalize. I'm going to go ahead with my, um, my Maron, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's M-E-H-R-O-N. It's my bruise wheel, and I'm going to go through, um, and dirty up my face a little bit because she's dirty. She's a dirty girl. Mm. So we'll start with the, we'll start with yellow. 
because she's not so much bruised as she's just dirty. Putting some green on here. And um, you may be wondering what's going on with my lighting. I don't have my special lights on because Mira appears in a mirror and it's very dark around her. So her surroundings are very dark. So she's very dark and uh, she's not well lit at all. So we're just gonna make her look dirty and kind of sooty. Okay, I think it's dry enough. So we're gonna go through, I don't know where my little tool is, but we're gonna go through and we're just gonna just kind of lift it up a little bit right here where the, uh, what do you call this? Where the latex meets the skin and just pull it up on like one side of the latex. This is going to create our lift to make it kind of give it more dimension. They want to be careful around here so it doesn't peel it up all the way. Get out of that! What are you doing? Tina thinks she's slick going through the garbage. Okay, now I'm gonna go through and try to blend out some foundation to make it blend into my natural skin tone, but I don't know where my darker one is, so I'm using this lighter one and hopefully it'll work out. So, I'm gonna use this little brush. like I've used too much. It's okay. Now we're going to take a powder. Just whatever powder. And remove the shine. Actually, I like the dirty parts now. It looks more, to me, more natural. Okay, so now you can kind of see the, where the openings are going to be. And we're going to go through that. I've got this like just nice dark uh, crimson. Uh, this is just a liquid lipstick because it's so close to the color I want and it's going to, with the little wand, it's going to make me a nice thin line of, of blood. I just fill the area right underneath the latex with some of this. See? See the illusion? Open your mind a little bit and look at the illusion. You'll see it looks bad. But I got some scab blood coming in behind this, so. Now, a split should go down the lip too, but I didn't want to put latex on my lip. But we will put the blood. Lighten it up a little bit. The yellow from the bruise wheel. And I'll go in with a little bit of brown in the bruise wheel. She does have kind of a cream.
raised, unkempt brow too. So let's Okay. All right. Now, scab blood. And, ew, here it is. It's just this gelatinous blob. I'm going to use some, oops, I'm going to use some of this just on my brush I was using under my eyes. And create more blood. I think this came with my my putty, my face putty when I ordered it. I got that, a little spatula, and then the putty. I would love to make her when her face opens up, but I will have to go to Home Depot to get supplies for that. <laughs> That's gonna take a Home Depot trip. Cause I'm gonna need some like silicone and I'm gonna need to create some bits and pieces. I'm gonna have to study her with her face open up and everything. She also, I think she also eats razor blades. I would <laughs> of Crip TV monsters. I think that would be really fun. Shouldn't be hard to mess my hair up. <laughs> and she's just kind of like, like, Ooh. Okay, <laughs> this was a fun one. I, it took a little longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. It's still, it's not even 10 yet, so I have time to wash it off. And this will be really easy to wash off. So uh, thank you so much for um, my itch, itch, itch. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. I do cooking, also story times, other stuff, mostly this type of thing because it's a lot of fun for me. Um, I'm starting an e-newsletter. If you're interested in that, you could text to join. Um, let me get that number for Send you. Send <laughs> a text to 22828 that says Dawn333 and then you'll get a thing to send your email and then you'll be signed up for it. Um, but that, hi Eric, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to all of you later. Bye.